I'm just, mm. okay, I'm gonna chill. I just wanna bring it forward a little bit so you can see it. You can see it from the front. Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, then welcome, it's your girl Dana Alexia. So today, I'm getting back with the beauty videos, yes. I don't know why my phone decides to ring as soon as I start filming. Oh, it has been so long, I mean it's only been like a month and a half, but like that feels like forever for me, like, you know. I just miss creating looks and just, this is like where I started, so I'm just really, really happy right now. I'm feeling really inspired. For today's video, I filmed a full face of Fenty makeup. Okay. <laughs> I've been wanting to do this for a while. And finally, Fenty has come out with some cream blushes, cream bronzers. They basically have everything now except for lip liner, lashes. I think that's it. Yeah, they have everything now, girl. They got everything. This look right here is giving me sultry, sexy, grown, seductive, just like all that stuff right there, okay? Like, this look is, hmm. Okay, I haven't beat myself. What? I haven't beat my face like this in a while. Okay, and the goal today was to do that, so. If you guys want to see this look then just keep watching but before we get into this video if you aren't already subscribed to my channel hit that subscribe button down below or if you do watch my videos and you find yourself coming back to my channel and you're not subscribed girl what are you doing subscribe down below and i've actually already been incorporating quite a few fenty products in my everyday makeup routine so yeah, anyway, so I'm going to go in with the primer. I prime first before I do my eyebrows. I still do my eyebrows first. However, I like applying primer to my entire face before filling in my brows just because it's like, I don't know. Primer is like the base. So base and then brows. That's just how I've been doing it. I do also have the mattifying primer, but I am obsessed with the hydrating one. Even if you have um, oily skin, I just, I, I don't know. It just makes your skin feel like silk and smooth and just like flawless and hydrated. It is, it really is hydrating. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that. And honestly, I've not really been into matte looks lately. I mean, matte eyes, yes, but with my skin, even though my skin has actually changed. So I would say my skin's changing, which is normal. Your skin type isn't always going to be exactly the same all year out. So yeah, my skin has definitely been a lot more oily these days, but I don't care. <laughs> I still use this primer. I haven't, I actually haven't used a mattifying one in a really long time. Like I actually can't tell you guys the last time I used it. So then I'm just going to put some over my brows. This is just a thing that I do. For brows, I'm going to go in with the Brow MVP. I'm, I've already been using this. I use this. This is my brow pencil that I've been using. Only this one, to be honest. So obviously, I'm already biased about this product right here because I've been using it and I love it. I just like how it lets you build it. I know, like, I'm sometimes I'm so, I'm so used to brow products or brow pencils that go on harsh and I have to really take my time to make sure I don't overfill or overdraw, which honestly happens to me a lot because, I mean, I have pretty full brows, so I really don't need to do the most when it comes to filling in. So I like that with this, even though it's dark brown, you guys know usually when you do dark brown, it goes on really dark, but like, look at that. I'm like, at first I was like, hmm, it's not pigmented, but I mean, I like that it does this. And like, if you obviously go really hard, it'll come out like that, but yeah. I just you know it's the whole less is more thing that I'm just I'm with right now <laughs> that's how I've been feeling with my makeup this might even be a little too much oh my god it's 11 11 make a wish Okay. 
That was a long ass wish. I made wishes. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my brows. All right, finally, my brows are done. But for my eyes, I'm gonna be using a bunch of their Snap Shadow palettes. Um, this is, I don't know, cooking up something real cute, you know. I'm gonna use a Pro Filter concealer. This is the same concealer I was using before. This is the Instant Retouch um, concealer, and this is in the shade 330. I really should have cleaned some of my brushes before. Ugh, it's all good. I'm gonna wash my brushes tomorrow though for sure because they're definitely dirty as f And I'm just gonna break out. And then I'm gonna set that with the setting powder. Yeah, I'm just gonna set what it. What it. <laughs> the first color I'm gonna go into. I need to start off with something. This might come off. Actually, no, this is a good color. Okay, so I'm gonna go into the number seven palette. These are the Snap Shadows, this, their mix and match eyeshadow palettes. This one is obviously number seven, and it's called Cadet, which I'm guessing because it's like military cadet colors. Maybe I should show you guys the actual colors. <laughs> yeah. Military vibes, Cadet Kelly vibes, you know. So I'm going to use this shade right here in the middle, and this is called Take Cover. Take Cover. Wow, there looks like there's nothing there on camera. Also, if you guys didn't know, they're called snap shadows because you can do two palettes in one, which is so freaking convenient. Like, I'm still not over this um, this feature that they did with the palette. I think this is just so creative and innovative. The innovation, Fenty. I'm here for it. I will always be here for this. So convenient, and they're so cute and small. Like, oh my god, love it. I'm gonna take the number one palette, and True Neutrals palette, and I'm gonna take this brown right there in the middle. This is called Come and Get It, but it's spelled like cumin, like the seasoning. Cum or is it Come and Get It? I'm gonna just say Come and Get It because that makes more sense. Anyways, I'm gonna apply that. Mm -hmm. I love this shade. By the way, I have definitely used this shade like quite a few times. So, you know what? I suck. What I should be using is some Fenty Beauty brushes. I have three Fenty brushes right here. Maybe it's just because it was in the packaging for a little bit and it flattened it, but the more flattened one or the less dense brush is actually the blending brush. It's the number 230. And then the more fluffier one is just, it's just as eyeshadow brush. I'm going to go back in with this shade for this eye using the 240 brush. And we're gonna blend. Ooh, and it gets right in there too. I love that. Okay, this is what I should have been using. This was actually really precise, and now I feel like I know what I'm doing. This one is the Deep Neutrals, and I'm gonna take that burnt orange shade called Fire Freak. I just love bare orange shades in the crease. I feel like I should cut my crease. I'm gonna need the shimmer to pop, sweetie, okay? Oh wait, I brought that way too far out. I don't wanna do that. It's okay, I'll fix it. I haven't done like a cut crease in a while, so. If this comes out, you know, not that great or as good as I used to, that is why. I'm a little rusty. I'm going to go back into the True Neutrals palette and I'm going to take Tequila Night, which is this brown right here. Oh, this is so I'm going to switch to the eyeshadow brush from Fenty. I'm going to go into the number 8 Pastel Frost palette. I haven't used this one before, so I'm going to take that yellow and apply that on top. Let's hope it comes out how I want it to, like the color I'm going for. 
Oh, we got. I brought the concealer a little too far over. I don't want over here to be cut. So I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna go back into the Cadet palette and I'm gonna grab Glamo Camo. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I don't feel too confident about this look right now, you guys. It's not coming out how I wanted it to. I don't know if it looks the same as what I'm seeing in person, but this is a hot, a hot mess. And now I'm like over this, but I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna play some music so I can kinda, you know, like get into my zone a little bit. Hmm. Do you love me? Do you love This is how I feel like I got your love attached to me. And you know six kids plus her dog. That's what it is. Okay, I was so close to wiping this eye off but i just realized that i cannot find the fly liner their liquid felt tip liner i'm so mad but i mean i have the fly pencil so it's like the the pencil eyeliner but i'm gonna need some winged liner for this so i'm just gonna use a different eyeliner i'm so sorry you guys so i'm gonna do a winged liner real quick right, so i got my eyeliner this product isn't new to me um, I've been using this, but this is the Full Frontal Mascara, and this is in the shade because I'm black. <laughs> and then I'm going to put on some falsies. You guys know, well, if you don't know, Fenty Beauty doesn't have false lashes, so I'm just going to find a pair of lashes that I think go with this look really well. And then, yeah. I am going to use this on my bottom lashes. And I'm going to use their pencil eyeliner in my waterline. But I do that once I'm done doing my face. So I'm going to go ahead and put on some lashes real quick. Alright, so we're going to go into foundation. I'm going to use the Pro Filter Hydrating Longwear Foundation. I'm using the shade 345. So this is Biased. I've been using this. It's like, actually, there's a lot of product in here. I've, but I've been using this for like months, if I'm being honest. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and apply 345. I do have the regular pro filter as well, but honestly, the hydrating one is just, is hydrating and it's just so bomb, flawless, glowy, I love it. I'm going to go in with the foundation brush. I'm not going to lie, I feel kind of gross right now because I do need to clean this brush. So as soon as I'm done, like kind of spreading this out. I'm gonna go in with my sponge and really like blend because it's just not gonna work. Like this brush has too much product in it right now. This is the Fenty Beauty Precision Makeup Sponge. I actually just opened up a fresh pack. I've been using this same exact sponge, so. I also use the Juno and Co sponge. That's like actually my favorite one, but I need to order some new ones, so. I've been using this one. Okay, finally, a product that I have not tried yet. This is their new cream bronzer, their Cheeks Out bronzer, and this is in the shade Teddy. And this is what it looks like. It's super weird, but my product has been sweating. I'm going to assume it's because this room is hot as fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna take my cream contour brush. I'm gonna apply a little bit more. Okay. I know this is a cream product. Obviously, it's not gonna apply as a powder or like matte, but this, I don't know if it's like, I don't know. It looks really oily. Like, really. That's probably why it was sweating, you guys. When I opened the packaging, there was like little, um, like sweat balls or like tiny sweat beads on it. So I'm going to set it so it's not going to be oily after, but... Oh, how to explain my s sentiments right now, but... <laughs> I'm just going to keep going, keep snatching. So I feel like I need to go in with more. Yeah. I'm going to keep cool and calm and collected. You know, we have to set her and everything, but 
This just is like, okay. It's not a terrible product. I'm gonna add some here. And typically I do just use this one, but I wanna use two concealers today. So I'm gonna go in with the Instant Retouch Concealer again in 360 first. So this is my more like natural concealer. Now we're gonna go in with 330. I'm gonna let it sit for like um like 15 seconds. Like the foundation, it's more buildable coverage. So I like to let mine sit for like just a couple seconds. I finally decided to take in Skepta's music yesterday, and my life will never be the same. Like I slept on this guy for so long. I'm just like I haven't really gotten into the UK rap. Like sometimes I'll hear something. I feel like it's just it's a whole other world. A whole other dimension like there's so many artists and I'm just like who what and yeah so obviously I know Skepta is probably like the most known UK rap artist but I never really I mean I, I there's a few songs I know only because he's featured on some songs and obviously his main song shut down and man when I listened to them yesterday, I'm like, oh yeah, I know those songs. But like, he is just freaking amazing. I slept on him and I'm so mad. But I'm so happy I finally like, took the time to take him in. And I'm gonna play some Skepta right now, yeah? In it? Oh yes, highlight. I just realized I forgot to cream contour my nose with the bronzer. So while that little amount of concealer I just added sits there, I'm gonna quickly, I'm praying this does not move my foundation or my concealer. This product is just like, I don't know. Okay, you know what, I'm gonna give it a chance. I wanna give it a chance. It's just super like, greasy and I'm not used to it all right so now I'm gonna go ahead and quickly set my face with the Fenty Beauty setting powder this product intimidates me so much I bought this a while ago like when it came out I used a review on it I don't know how I feel about this powder I'm using the shade banana by the way but like it is so drying and obviously at that time when I bought it too, my skin was really, really dry. So I use this like with caution. I actually don't really use it if I'm being honest. But we're using it today because you know it's full face. And I'm giving it another chance. Um, I remember watching Makeup Shayla's review one time. Or I think it was like an updated video from her review, like a follow-up. And she said that Cashew is actually a way better shade. Obviously I just went with Banana because... I'm so used to using banana colored. I always go for banana in a setting powder um, shade because like that's my shade for setting powder. But I don't even want to use too much. I'm just like dabbing, but I'm not. I'm not picking up a lot, so I kind of have control of how much I want to use for each area. I don't even think I'm gonna bake with this because like, All right? Um, my under eye is creasing on this side. My under eye right now is so dry and it's creasing right now so like I don't know this powder like I just I just can't get with it so I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face oh shit I forgot that they have a setting spray and I didn't get it I'm just gonna use this this is what I always use collagen infused complexion prep priming spray by Urban Decay this is what I use <laughs> I don't even know if this is gonna do anything. Lord. Nah, we need some more. Like, no cap. Yeah, I my feelings towards that powder remain the same. <laughs> I gotta fix this creasing right here. It's creasing on this side so bad. Ah, damn. And honestly, I don't know what to do. I can't add any more powder. 
Okay, I'm creasing, it's whatever. Like I have a whole crease right there. The side is creasing as well, it's not that bad. I don't know if like the powder made it worse or what, but it's probably because this powder is so dry that I try not to actually press the powder into my skin because it's going to make my skin so dry. And because I had to refrain from doing that, I didn't get to set my creasing properly or like where I crease properly. So I just like, I don't know. I just, I really do hope like that they come out with a new formulated powder or like a powder... I mean, they could keep this too, but like a powder that isn't so drying for people with dry skin because I just cannot like my skin will literally look scaly. But now I'm going to go in with um, my, well, not my favorite product, but one of my favorite products from Fenty Beauty. Um, I killed this product. It's their powder bronzer or their sun stalker bronzer. And I use the shade Caramel Cutie. Love this stuff. Like I use this re religiously. Like this is like, as you can see. <laughs> I've almost hit pan on it. I'm gonna go ahead and set that bronzer. I love this. This is like, like, it's just beautiful. I am nervous to use the powder again, but y'all know I gotta cut my cheeks. I need that definition. With this powder, I feel like whenever I cut my cheeks with it, I literally have to like... Okay, not literally, but I feel like I have to use my brush and use full force and like almost scrape the powder off of my um, cheekbone. I'm gonna set the cream here for sure. Oh yeah, for sure. You definitely have to set that cream bronzer because I know for a fact that shit will like move and then we're gonna just snatch the nose fish if I can oh god I didn't realize how much product that was yeah we gonna have to scrape <laughs> we're gonna have to scrape sis Oh my god, the product is coming off of my nose in the corner, so that's great. Um, while this is happening, I'm going to move on to my eyes. I'm going to take the fly pencil, and this is in the shade, because I'm black. I like this. Oh, bitch, this is black. And then for my, whoo, it just, yeah, that definitely, like, made my eyes really stand out. I'm going to mix two colors. So I'm going to use that orange. Oh, my God. I got eyeshadow on my cheek. You know what? It's just going to have to work as a blush. And then I'm going to take that charcoal color again glamo camo and then we're gonna go in with our mascara again oh no girl what i need to do you see i'm not used to using this powder so i definitely need to take it off now like now so i'm gonna do that <laughs> Fancy this powder, this powder love. Y'all see my cheekbone? Like I'm just gonna, I'm gonna deal with that after. So I'm gonna use the Fairy Bomb in 24K Ray. Okay, I had to take a break because my MacBook was about to overheat. So in the meantime, honestly, I just touched up my under eye because it was really bothering me. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I can tell. Looks a lot better, and I actually went in with a different color underneath my lash line i went into the true neutrals palette the number one palette and i took this brown called affogato okay <laughs> and my under eyes look so much better i'm getting like cleopatra egyptian goddess vibes from this eye look definitely not what i was going for but i'm here for it so yeah so i'm just gonna do the other side 
I am going to go in with some bronzer just now to fix that harsh um, contour line. I am going to be very subtle with the nose just because, well actually, no, I don't know if I'm like a little bit more. <laughs> I just don't want to look like a light bulb, but I feel like foxy right now. <laughs> Crying. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Super pigmented. I'm going to use the same highlight, 24K Ray. I'm going to bring that up a little bit. I like it. Love it. Ooh. I might. Hold on. Oh no, girl, that's enough. Okay, so we gotta go in with some more bronzer because baby, baby girl. Mm -mm -mm. Now we're gonna get into blush right before we do our lips. I'm gonna go into the cream cheeks out blush or the cheeks out cream blush. I'm gonna use a shade that I have been using for the past, I think like I've been using it for two weeks now. This is a shade Rose Latte. It's the most natural looking one out of the bunch. I'm just gonna go in. Okay, actually I want to bring it more onto the front of my cheeks. This is really pretty though. Like I'm not even gonna lie. Like this is gorgeous. This is like my favorite shade for blushes. Like I love these like brown these reddish browns, like, oh, I'm just, mm. Okay, I'm gonna chill. I just wanna bring it forward a little bit so you can see it. You can see it from the front. I do have a little bit of an urge to, you know what? I'm just gonna use the same sponge that has a little bit of powder residue to set that, just cause like, it's making me look a little oily. So obviously because Fenty Beauty hasn't come out with lip liners as yet, I'm pretty sure they, will be soon or they're already cooking it up i am going to use one from a different brand i'm going to use one of these from bite beauty this is the power move creamy matte lip crayon i'm going to use one of their plush matte moselle lipsticks in i quit i'm going to apply okay i'm going to use thick instead just because like i don't know about that one When I put the gloss on top, it's going to be nice because the gloss has that nice bronze look that I'm going for. I want to keep the lips a little bit more neutral. I'm going to go in with the Gloss Bomb in Fenty Glow. I just wanted a little bit of pigment. I might add some more after. We'll see. I actually really like this. My lips are looking mighty fine right now. <laughs> I love this color combo. When's the last time y'all seen me do a look like this? I think this is so freaking pretty. Ah, oh, bitch. I love it. I went ahead and changed to really get into this look i freaking love this i think this is so pretty baby okay that's what i'm talking about period i'm joking like i i'm back bitch <laughs> but anyways let's talk about these products so the eyeliner the fly pencil i like that i really really like that i'm actually gonna be using that as my new like eyeliner you guys know i've been wearing eyeliner um i really like the eyeliner the palettes i've been using i haven't used all of them so the new colors that i've used or the new palettes that i've used i like them i really do like them now that powder <laughs> like i said before my feelings towards the setting powder has not changed and i mean I just, the formula, it just does not work for my skin. Like, I literally have given this powder so many chances, you guys, even on and off camera. Out of all the brands that I incorporate for my everyday products or my go-to products, I probably use Fenty Beauty the most. Like, 
a part of my collection. With that powder, girl, I just... I just can't get with the formula. It is way too drying for my eye. So obviously that is my least favorite product. It is what it is. <laughs> and then I would say my second least favorite product would be the cream bronzer. It's not bad. I think more so that was my first time using it. So that was like my first natural impression. You know, it kind of threw me off a bit. Everything else was amazing. Other than the fact that like the whole um oily formula for the blush i don't mind it just because for blush i'm a lot more light-handed than i am with a bronzer or something to contour with because that's sculpting and this is just adding blush so the oiliness of this doesn't bother me as much just because i don't go in with that much to where it starts to throw off the texture of you know my base and my face overall However, if you are of a deeper skin complexion, I just feel like you might go through a lot of oiliness just to get that pigment. And I just, that kind of, you know, so. But all in all, you guys, the look came out bomb. I'm really feeling this look, okay? I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you're still here watching, thank you for, you know, still being here. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy watching it so yeah anyways i'll see you guys in my next video oops i got lipstick on my hand but peace